GM friends, welcome back to my channel. I've been busy lately. I've been providing liquidity or they call it DLMM, which is dynamic liquidity market making. And basically it's just, if you're familiar with the other one, Ethereum, when you provide two coins and people trade and you can earn money from the fees. So it's doing that, but on Solana and using Meteora, which is obviously because of the low fees and the speed, it's much more exciting, much more profitable. So I've been going down the rabbit hole. I've been using different tools, etc., And I've been showing some PNLs here and there. And so people asking me, how do I get started etc and so i thought i'd do a video on that per usual guys nothing is financial advice so you can actually lose money matter of fact you most likely will at the start and make sure you do your own research i'll do another video on the other things i've been doing i've been staking with a new provider and using another bot to manage my positions otherwise the video is going to get too long so let's start with my actual pnl so why should you listen to me to be honest you shouldn't but a lot of people have been asking me what i've been doing because they've seen my pnls about two weeks ago i started doing this previously i've done on and off a few positions based basically lost out not doing anything consistently not taking it very seriously about two weeks ago i started taking it seriously started learning the strategies and implementing them you can see my pnl here sometimes they're a bit off so just take it with a pinch of salt my total profit was about roughly minus three four hundred when i started and now it's one thousand two hundred to be honest it should have been one thousand like five six a few times i fell asleep and lost a lot of money like one two hundred dollars but yeah so if you if you get because if i was awake i would have just took an l on fifty dollars but because i fell asleep i literally lost two three hundred dollars at times yeah so this pnl would have been better so i had to work back to make the money back just to show you some of my recent trades yesterday these are the pnls yesterday i done these are 15 hours ago there are more recent ones i'm not showing them because i don't want to dox my address i'm going to try not to as much as possible anyway so you can see these are 15 hours ago there's a coin called i put in this much and i got out that much basically i go in and out i keep scalping and it's a safe way as well it's safer relatively to the usual way people do it and so you can see here twenty dollars ten dollars ten dollars when i lost i was is a very minimal less than like one dollar this is usually me just chasing the price more about that when i actually open a position so as you can see here there's just pretty much a hundred dollars here give or take yeah so you can see that here you can see another tool by a guy called geek lad i haven't done anything recently and then i started doing it and here it's saying i made solid profit in two weeks so that's also very good i started with around five six or seven and i moved it up so i've made profit i lost a bit but overall i'm up nicely let's talk about some of the risks first of all you need to understand there's something called impermanent loss okay so this is an article by coinbase and basically says that impermanent loss is the risk that occurs when you participate when participating in DeFi liquidity pools where the value of the allocated asset changes from the time you allocated them. The loss is termed impermanent because it can be mitigated if the token price returns to its original value. Well, let's say for example I provide liquidity of Solana and USDC. The idea of me doing that is to make more money right and so if while it's happening Solana actually goes up and my liquidity pool because in a liquidity pool it sells when the coin is going up so if my Solana goes up it will sell my Solana for USDC and if it goes down i will buy the solana with my usdc because i'm providing two coins right at least in this specific scenario and impermanent loss means if i just kept my solana i would have made more money because i don't i wouldn't have been sold for usdc so that's the risk that you want to look into it's called impermanent loss the way i mitigate this is two ways number one I do this with a small percentage of my portfolio. So this is like kind of an income because my long-term Solana is staked. If you want to know the new way I'm staking, etc., for extra rewards, stay tuned for my next video. But so my long-term uh, Solana is staked. So this is the way I see it is like a monthly income or a weekly income when I'm doing this. I'm just trying to make money in dollars because if my if Sol goes up, my long-term stack is going to do well anyway. Number two, when I provide liquidity, the specific strategy that I found is by providing one-sided tokens. When I open the position, I don't actually buy the token that i'm providing liquidity with i actually just provide solana okay and i'll show you why it's more safe later on okay so impermanent loss so psychology trading versus lp okay so i want to talk to you a bit about this in in lp in providing liquidity you're not gonna get the crazy 100 x's thousand x's take it from me guys it's extremely difficult i'm someone that's done it multiple times as you guys seen publicly and i don't the risk to root is very very extreme and so lp you're making more consistent wins but you're not gonna make the crazy 100 x but i like it because it's more consistent so i make less but more consistently Here here and there i might find a coin you always chase coins with a lot of volume and sometimes those are the ones that do quick two three x's so if you want you could actually buy the token and lp at the same time choose your risk profile you can do the established coins like usdc which i do but obviously the gains are going to be very low because it's pretty much a whale game at that point you need a lot of liquidity to make uh, anything decent but a lot of people have already provided liquidity and because of that obviously your slice of the rewards are going to be low and then there's medium risk so i'll say something like maybe jupiter so that's a medium risk 
just type one or fart coin Solana if you want to go into the meme coin realm. And then there's the high risk. So these are usually the newer coins that launch. They have a lot of volume and very less liquidity. Hence, even if the coin goes down, I've had times where the coin has gone down 50, 60% and I've come out of a profit. Why? Because the fees have gone high. So the very good thing about LPing is even if the coin goes sideways, you're still going to make profit if the fees are high enough. You want it to basically stay in your range, which we'll get into later on when I open a position. I'll actually open a position live so you guys can get a rough idea. Volume is the most important thing. I can't stress this enough, guys. If there's no volume in a coin, it doesn't matter what it is. You're not going to generate. It's not worth staying in that pool. Just get out of the pool or don't even open. So in and out strategy. So this is the strategy I personally use. When we go into a coin, when it's fairly new launched and it's got a lot of volume, we go in for 5, 10, 20 minutes, no more than half an hour. When the volume is very high, we go in, we eat from the fees and then we go to the next one and you just sell all your rewards for Solana. It's called the in and out strategy. You can see threads online. So let's go to the most important part where to find pools this is where people struggle okay they can't find the actual pool and avoid the rugs i'm going to give you a few places to find pools number one place you want to go to is obviously the meteor official discord there's chats in there that will post about actual pools that you, know, you want to look into then there's lp army and there's lp agent which is another tool so these three discord people are there they're posting specific runners that they think are doing well in lp army one of the places you can go to is dgen dllm dgen cool so this is a chat and dgen cools is just like verified people that post post coins okay so that's one place you can find the discords then you have this tool by geeklad usually this tab is very good the top one is usually the one that's got really good fees it's not loading now but I'll post it in the description, maybe maintenance or something going on. But what you do is you look at the top line and see the fees of the geek fee when you click on it you will see gm gen link and meteora pool and then you can do further due diligence usually i go into the 30 minutes one or if i want to like a multi multi hour play or multi day play i look at the 24 hour pool and go from there that's another place you can find interesting pools then there's this tool sol meteor i this has interesting newly launched tokens that do well this one yesterday was popping gork and i think it was short coin that i got into i got into both of these so they done very well well and you can look at the score like a meteor score and usually when they've just launched they're like over thousands and you can see the fees and everything that it generates this is another place where you can find pools and i don't want to get too much into this is another place of trenches you go to organic but i don't want to go into too much of how to find pools as in how to analyze them because you're just getting started most likely if you're watching this video you're just getting started i'll show three really good ones and some of the other things to look at briefly so first you got bubble mats then you got rug check and then you got trench board these are three tools that the whole industry uses lastly you want to go into gmgn we're going to open a position and check what you want to see is these four things here no mint blacklist burn and the top 20 top 10 holders should be below 20 percent the lower is the barrier okay so now let's open a position so i can show you quickly but let's open this one go so you want to go into the meteora link it's got the contract address here copy the contract address you're going to need that and then put that into gmgn so usually i have i have a i normally have an ipad and i have the chart on my ipad but you can just switch tab okay so let's say we're in this pool and i put it on a one minute 15 seconds or 30 seconds and the five minute volume should be over 50k if it's below 50k don't even bother but usually typically it should be two three hundred k above so what i normally do i go over two three hundred k ride it out and then as it's approaching going down to 50k i'd get out but it's relative obviously if the volume is 5 million and then comes to k 200k that's obviously reducing a lot so you want to get out then as well so it's very relative okay so let's actually open this one so now what i do this is how i'd actually open the pool guys so i'd go here add liquidity and if you see multiple liquidity pools just go into the one that has the highest tvl most people have put their money in because the chances are if they put their money in they've done the due diligence and they think it's the safest one etc okay so your position add liquidity here's the trick i found of basically the safest way i'm just going to do a test point one sol what you want to do is single sided make sure autofill is turned off do single sided and you don't have to buy the coin for this provide the liquidity if the price goes higher you're not going to earn anything because your liquidity is lower which is okay you can just remove the liquidity and add it back at the higher price what i do i have multiple souls and i put some soul here and if it pumps by the time i try to close this position it's already pumped so what i do i add another position while i'm closing this one okay and then i just go like that Okay, and so yeah, you want to do this. So if the price pumps, you're not going to earn nothing. What you want it to do is go down and then 
as it's going down, you're going to be making fees and then you want to sell it on the pump. And so these three are quite important. This shows how your liquidity is actually going to get spread out. You have Sport, Curve and Bid Us. Sport is going to put your SOL in the price range equal amounts of SOL. Curve is going to be like this, but obviously we're just providing. If you think there's going to be a lot of volume at the current price, you want to do this if I want to eat quickly and I get out. That's when I use this strategy. The safest one, when you're starting out, you probably want to do this. This would mean most of your SOL is at the below price. So at the current price, it's not going to eat. So you're expecting it to dump and then pump again. Okay. But usually if you don't know what to do, just do sport, click reset price and then slide this all the way. And then that's it. I hit add liquidity. Put your password in, approve it. And then as you can see, I provided 0.1, but 0.05, it took extra to open the position, but that's refunded to you. Okay. So now you can see, look, I've already started earning like, I don't know, some one cent or something. And you can see as it's in my soul, I'll start generating both fees. So now I want to show you how you can check your profit and loss. Okay. Yeah. So the other thing you can do is as you're claiming and getting a lot of fees, like five, $10, two three dollars fees you can just claim it and sell it you don't have to wait to actually close the position okay, so for now i'll just hold that so here you can see pnl i don't know why this website is not working today properly but usually this site would tell you like uh, my okay yeah it's popped up here so let's click on it here you can see my pnl the data's taking a while so yeah minus 33 cents and then you can see all the data here you can see the chart etc you can see all the information here sometimes like i said there's a bit of discrepancy so just keep that in mind this is another tool you will see your pnl on this as well yeah so here you can I can see my PL, I can see my liquidity, all the information here. And then if you connect your wallet, you can swap the coin for Solana or whichever one you choose. Make sure you put the slippage on 1.5%. So that's the second place you can check your PL. Then the third place is this, which I also like as well. Not sure if I can show it. I don't want to dox my address, but this is another website. You just put your address in and you'll see your position. Once you've got enough fees, what you want to do is close the position. Here, you just go to withdraw and close. As you can see, I run one cent. So you want to withdraw and close, confirm, and it will give you all your soul back plus the fees that you made plus the coin i've got like 10 cent of the coin because it went down while i was in the position okay and so you can generate your pnl card here and then you just go to jupiter and then swap the coin use ultra you can switch between ultra and manual i've been told to use ultra i've used it as well it's quite good but sometimes they'll be slippy so there's nothing you can do about some of these coins they're just moving too fast maybe you can try selling it on gmgn i'll provide my gmgn link in the description but anyway yeah so then you just want to sell it and then have a pro trip is have your windows your window sorry not fully maximized because when you have it maximized when phantom open it switches windows this way it just pops up here and so you're much faster because speed is everything when you're lp and especially some of these high volatile coins anyway guys that's pretty much it if you guys got any questions oh yeah the other place that i'm going to post some of my plays or the coins i'm going to is my telegram so my telegram chat so if you guys are interested in some of the ones i'm personally going into you can check that out as well i hope you got some value from this video guys don't over trade the usual stuff i don't need to go over it with you guys oh yeah lastly so what what is happening so i call this the triple whammy because not only are you making money through doing the lp and making money hopefully you're getting meteora points which is basically going to do an airdrop and i think the airdrop is going to be very good because it can't be gamed very easily a lot of reasons and then also jupiter airdrop the jupiter has two more years of airdrop so obviously every time you do swap etc you're going to get jupiter you're going to be qualifying for more jupiter points for their airdrop it's one of the best airdrops you can farm right now i do it for the gains alone the extra two things are very beneficial the last thing i want to say is well if you lose money on one two trades take it very small don't get disheartened i've lost money on trades as well just keep going and have any questions i'm happy to help you and i'll see you in the next video